Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm going to do a quick review of the Hinderer Maximus. Um, this one is the Bayonet version. DLC. Fully DLC. Only thing that is not is obviously this guy here and the screws. Um, that's about it. Um... This is a relatively rare variant, but besides the point, the Maximus itself, before we get into this, is not being in production. They did a few runs and have not made any more. They are not labeled as discontinued. Um, there have been rumors about making new batches with the Triway Pivot, um, but that has not been finalized or... We do not know if that is still in the works or not. Um, I would like to hope so, but we will find out in the near future. Um, next, if you have not already, please follow the Instagram and also subscribe uh, and like the Facebook page. Thank you very much. Um, first off, let's just do some quick size comparisons. Um, let's do a quick one that's kind of an obvious one. Uh, the Hinderer XM18, three and a half inch. Uh, if you did not know, they are the exact same length. Blade length, same. Handle length, same. Overall length, same. So if you need to know size wise what it looked like, and you have an XM18, three and a half inch, there you go. That would be your first cue. Um, it is a quarter of an inch smaller than a SMG. Um, it's hard to tell. There's a very slight difference, and this is a slightly longer. Um, next, let's do up against a 940, as you can tell. It is quite a bit larger than the 940, noticeably larger, um, definitely mainly in the handle, um, a little bit longer than the blade of the 940. 940, by the way, has a 3.4 inch blade, if you are not aware. Um, let's do a UTX-85, as you can tell, larger blade, larger handle. And because we have it, a stitch. That's kind of lengthwise. Very similar. The stitch is a little bit longer. Now here's the shaman. As you can tell, shaman is pretty good comparison with a, a, a non not not the same brand but definitely a very good comparison knife here um by the way sorry about the noise in the background that is the uh dryer um a little bit noisy but hopefully you can look past that but or listen past that anyways uh, another good size comparison is going to be your rat Model 1, there you go, as you can tell obviously you have a longer sharpened blade length on the Maximus. <clears throat> One of the great things about the Maximus is the overall like just aesthetics. Um, you got an hourglass while being comfortable. Um, this is the bayonet version, so you don't get the uh, symmetry on the blade, but everything else is symmetrical. Um, it even becomes symmetrical if you just kind of like this. There you go. Very, very well done. Um, now, what's interesting is there's very, very little internals. There's not very many barrel spacers, no back spacer. Just one guy right there. 
on screen right there which by the way some people are always afraid like if that happens does it have any movement no it does not the clip is solid and as you can tell this is pre triway it has great action it is still pretty smooth almost drop shut in fact it it is pretty close drop but this guy is if you can tell running on nylon you can kind of you can kind of see that right there at the very top of it you can have these switched out or you can switch out these for phosphor bronze i have not done that because i do not know the action on phosphor bronze it would probably end up being smooth just like this one um I'm not entirely sure. All the way, by the way, this is centered, if you cannot tell, right there. Now, so that's the thing, is what's interesting is everything is internal, uh, which is actually great. If you can't tell, let's see if I can get this for you guys. For the stop pen. Right, right there, you see that right in there? You can kind of see the little pillar right in there. That is your stop pin. Um, as you can tell, it does not move with the blade. It means there's a cutout on the blade, kind of like this, that goes around this way, that will stop the blade this way, and will stop blade that way so it's exactly the same as this over travel stop here it just stays in place but in this scenario it's a cut there's a cutout in the blade so it's inside that track um which is hard to do it's very impressive to be able to do that and get it centered and have it completely submerged inside the handle another great thing with the maximus is this next to this guy this guy was a dark horse that i actually added green to it back to it to give it a little flare we'll probably go end up going back to full black here um do prefer the full black but regardless just if you look at the carry profile this is a much slimmer design. Now, thickness, let's see, we're looking at roughly the same. So if you have the <clears throat> Hinderer XM18, you can kind of get the idea of the thickness and the um, length. But one thing that's nice about the uh, carry profile, it has much, much better carry profile. If you can tell, completely gets swallowed up by an XM18. Much thinner carry, carry profile. Not, not even not even a chance. Um, this is going to just ride so much better in your pocket um, than the XM18, than most carries, actually. Um, and it's going to ride better in your pocket than the, a uh, Shaman. Um, it's going to ride better in your pocket than a... Let's see here. It's going to actually... Overall, ride better in your pocket than a uh, Rat 1. It's going to ride better in your pocket than a Stitch, of course. But that's a different kind of kind of beast there. Um, it's going to ride... Obviously, there's this. Which actually, believe it or not, is very similar. Like, overall. The only thing that makes this wider... That's the flipper tabs. If the flipper tab was not there, this would be very comparable to a 940. Uh, but in general, you're not gonna really notice those flippers 
all that much. You're only going to notice one and barely. It's not that the flipper tab doesn't actually protrude all that much. Um, one thing, though, um, is that you have, have to have specific hardware with this one. Um, unlike how, like, the XM18 3.5 inch and 3 inch, everything's universal. You can change what, however you want to. Um, uh, all three and a half inch hardware can go with whatever. Um, this has different screws. This has a different uh, barrel spacer. It has a different pocket clip. Um, the only thing that is similar, if not the same, I believe, might be the pivot. That's about it. Um, but then again, like, Oh, that's the only kind of grip that I would say I have with the Maximus. Um, I'm really hoping they do bring it back. Um, in fact, I don't know if it needs a try away, but I know a lot of people prefer if they could get this action, but with phosphor bronze. Um, the main bad thing about um, Teflon is when you take it apart... You gotta be careful because you could tear it. Um, it's not as durable, but as you can tell, it does have really good action. Um, this one here is a carbon fiber scales. Um, nothing too fancy, but I do have to say, um, if you want, you can get G10. You can also get textured carbon fiber. Um, they do still make hardware for the Maximus. Um, the only thing about it is it's a little bit harder to find. Um, in fact, Maximus is in general are hard to find. Um, I just hope in general they get to the point where they can start making these um, at higher qualities. Um, and just in general. Um, there's also, I mean... Rick Hinder has the ability to do autos now. So you may see an auto version of this rather than a manual. Um, part of that, I would I would like to be able to have an auto version of this. But I personally like the flipper. Um, why? Because you have just a thin, slim profile and ability with this style. More than you would have with an auto. It would be bulkier. It wouldn't be as slim. Um, and that's just how that would go. Like with let's say this right here. You can tell this is off center. With this this is center. So it just it looks better. Um, you can tell. Thinness. The handle here is a little bit bulky. Compared to the blade. Where this is a lot has a lot better ratios um and to be honest this one right here also is cvm s20 cv no just 20 cv i don't know why i said s you get you know s30v and you get all those sometimes you just slip uh, but yeah now this one is 20 CV, very good steel. The one gripe someone could have is that it's thick behind the edge. But the thing about this being a dagger, this being a bayonet, it's not meant for slicing 100 boxes. It's not meant for or designed for slicing open. You could do it with this, don't get me wrong. It actually does open and break down boxes really well. I have used it to do that. Um, would it be my first choice? No. Uh, will it do it? Yes. And actually will. Um, I think it will be thicker behind the edge. But this is definitely meant for more of a penetrating. Um, more of a stab cut. Um, so like opening a package, stab, and then cut. It works great doing that. Um, this is definitely more tactical. Then... I mean, I mean, even your yeah, yeah. This is, looks tactical, but like in the grand scheme of things, the slice, especially the slicer variant, is fantastic 
We're just opening boxes, cutting day to day stuff. Um, it's a great workhorse. This being thicker behind the edge, not so much. Um, though it will definitely, it definitely is more aesthetically pleasing for mass for the mass majority of people because of this hourglass. It's symmetrical. Especially the double edge. The only thing I have against the double edge is you have to be more careful with it. Um, that's why I went and found a um, bayonet version. Um, this may, to be honest, overall be my very favorite hinderer out there. And that is going to be it for this one. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See you next one.